They say that right before you die, your whole life flashes in front of your eyes. They're not wrong. Five, four, three, and roll VT. Very nicely done. You liked it? Oh, very much so. The framing device of the nightclub's a nice touch. Yeah. Gives it a sense of pace. She was a keen clubber. Mm. Most of her happiest memories occurred when she was dancing with friends. Who's next? Edward Blemeyer, 55 years old, due to suffer a fatal heart attack. But before we roll VT, I'd like to show you a preview copy. Oh. Is it that good? No, not exactly. I really struggled with this one. Edward Blamire was something of a non-entity. There was absolutely nothing of interest to piece together. Everyone has moments of interest. I think you'll see what I mean. Preview copy for Edward Blamire, please. That was appalling. We could all lose our jobs. Look, I can promise you there was absolutely nothing else. Edward's life wasn't awful, but it was dull, deathly dull, with absolutely nothing of incident or interest. No partners? No partner, no friends, a few close family, no parties, no holiday, nothing. There needs to be pitied. I suppose so. No. I can't let the highlights here go out like that. Oh. I'm sending you back to six months before Edward's death. You're to, to spice things up a bit, enable him to live a bit, and create those memories, and uh, make his life sing, eh? Yeah? Make his life sing. For all our sakes.
Hello. Hi. Oh, am I talking to Edward Blamire? Uh, one and the same. Um, I'm sorry, but I really don't want to buy anything today, thank you. Oh, I'm not selling anything. I'm from the NHS. I'm the Lifestyle Choice Coordinator for the local borough. The what? A Lifestyle Choice Coordinator. You've had a, a heart complaint, is that correct? I've got a bit of a dodgy ticker, yes. Well, I'm here to show you a few alternative options, which could be very beneficial to you. All free, all paid for by the taxpayer. Unique, tailor-made experiences. Things like day trips to the Isle of Wight, life drawing, scuba diving. Lively. The NHS really has changed. <laughs> Ever wanted to hang glide from 150 feet? Here's your chance. Yes, but, uh, but I don't really want to do that. Trust me, Edward. I think this course could be of great benefit to you. May I come in? Well... Thank you. You've got a very cosy home. No, oh, it hasn't really changed that much since Mother died. Can I get you a biscuit? Only digestives, I'm afraid. The chocolate ones play havoc with my insides. Give me the most awful, well, you know. Uh, no, no, you're fine. Um, thank you. Um, Edward, before we sign you up, as it were, I've got this lifestyle questionnaire to do. Oh, yes. So, if you could answer each question honestly, that'd be fab. Righty ho. Last time abroad? I've never been abroad. Really? Not even a ferry to France or an all-inclusive to Spain? I've never seen the point. All that foreign food and strange way of talking. It would get me all nervous. No, I just stay here, really. There's a co-op just down the road. It's got everything I need. Never been tempted to relax in the warmth, indulge in delicious paella, watch the sunset across the sea from your hotel balcony. Not at all. Seems like a lot of fuss and bother. Okay. Favourite type of TV show? I like Sunday telly. That's not really a, a type of TV programme though, is it? Well, Mother and I used to watch Last of the Summer Wine. Oh, how we laughed. That and the Antiques Roadshow. Oh, yes, used to love Sunday telly. It's about the only time that Mother and I ever really talked. Edward, I want to get you started on the scheme as soon as possible. If I'm being frank, your life does seem somewhat pedestrian. I'd like you to try something new and exciting every Saturday. A new skill or event chosen by yours truly. Please, no foreign food. You won't be forced to try anything out of your comfort zone. So, see you next Saturday? Sure thing. Oh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I don't know your name. Oh, Angel. You can call me Angel.
the debating society could be so much fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Edward. And good luck. Well, is that it? The, the final trip? I'm afraid so. But we had fun, didn't we? But I won't see you again. You might see me sooner than you'd expect. It's been a pleasure, Edward. Well, thank you. I had fun. I'm so glad. Long trip home. Some way, Edward. Some way. See you soon. Well, how do you think it went? It went well. Hopefully. Time will tell. It's ready for transmission. You should see this. Five, four, three, and roll VT.